Hey everyone, and welcome to episode 39 of the Video Games Ahoy podcast. My name is Jonathan Radford, and today I'm joined by Dav Gape. Turn. Dav Weeks. What do you say? And Zach Hamilton. Hi. <laughs> what were you going for? Turn. Turn. I was hoping around. for turn around. Bright eyes. Bright. Uh, right. See, I thought you said hern. I was like, what the hell is hern? <laughs> I, I, I still refer uh, to, uh, I, I, I always mention this to Rosie. One of my favorite ones was uh, Hall. What? <laughs> Hall. Fame. Oh. Fame. <laughs> Fame. <laughs> still, honestly, it still makes me laugh when I think about it. If you haven't listened to that, it's from our, one of our episodes of the Hall of Fame, and it's, it's really funny. I kept it in because it was just, it was too, it was gold. It's I'm convinced goals. I'm going deaf, honestly. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't laugh at that, really, but you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, how are you doing, gents? All good. Yeah, doing all right. Yeah, doing good. Doing good. All it's been good. um, it's been a good week this week. We've had. We, uh, do, do you know what? We've had a lot of fun streaming this week. The last mm. week has been even even not well beyond streaming as well. It's been a lot of fun been had um but yeah should we, should we have a little chat about the the old podcast before we begin with some some fresh news oh um, baby <laughs> lots of fresh news uh if you are listening to us for the first time hello uh we're video games ahoy uh, uh and if you know us then welcome back thank you so much uh we really appreciate everyone who comes back to listen to us um still don't know why don't know what it is i i've got a feeling it's dav weeks last week we voted and dav weeks was the the favourite member of, of us. You weren't here though. So. I wasn't in that vote. <laughs> well, that's why you were the favourite. You just you weren't here. We were just like, where's Daphne? Uh, you would have voted for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you probably would have voted for Zach, in all fairness. <laughs> it's that, it's that background. It's that background. Um, but yeah. Um, Wait, but, is that a background? <laughs> uh, no, it's my living room. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Zach lives the whole room in your games. Ahoy that is the boat. So Zach bad. made the boat. He made yeah. the boat. It's life size. Uh, but we put these episodes. Episode. I should should start again. We put these episodes out every Saturday morning, uh, and you can listen to us um, via the podcast hosting site of your choice. Uh, and if you want to see uh, our faces, then please go over and check out YouTube. We've got some lovely comments on YouTube recently. So thank you to everyone that contributes over there. We really. Yeah, we're just really grateful for you all being lovely. Um, but check us out on YouTube as well. And stick around to the end because we'll talk about Patreon page and what we offer over there. Uh, but as ever, to everyone that contributes and you know who you are, thank you so much. Um, we're just, very, again, very grateful um, for your support. Now, let's go on to, on to some news. Um, there's not like, in Two weeks in a row where there's not really been many like heavy-hitting stories, which is quite nice. It's quite nice to just talk about lots of fun things. <laughs> and what a better way... What better way to start with Pokemon Snap, it, it got a release date, guys. Yeah, it got a release dude. date. Yeah, look I was, at that. Oh, yeah. and you know what? It looks so good. It looks mm-hmm. really good. I, I was actually quite shocked at how how good it actually looks. Um, so if if you um, if you don't know, then uh, Pokemon Snap arrives on uh, the thirtieth of April, um, which is great. Which is not too far away. Well, just a, just around around about three months. Um, I was actually really chuffed because I actually remembered on the predictions podcast I said it was going to come out in spring, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tick that one off. I'm oh, you're so that. smug right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did. I, I was. I was. I, I've written them all down. I'm like, when did I say this? I, I failed. I'm gonna fail with mostly everything else, but that I, one I'm happy with. I have a couple questions about Pokemon Snap because I haven't looked into it yet. Yep. It's, I have two major questions. Um, are they is it, are they using original assets for the whole thing? It looks like. It looks like they are. I, I yeah. mean, because I, I I think it's made. I could be wrong. I think it's made with Bandai. I think Bandai helping right, them out. That was, that was going to say. That was my is. second question. Is it, is it a third party developer? It's not the Pokemon company, is it? I don't think so. This, which is what makes me think that there's a new Pokemon game coming out. Well, because I wonder. I wonder. I mean, they've been using the same sprites for Pokemon Go, and then I can't remember which of the main mainline series. I think maybe they started using some new ones for the last entry, but certainly yeah. before that. And I wonder. With the problems they've had with having to cut down the um, the national decks for uh, the newer games, I wonder if they're outsourcing their um, 
um, their assets to Bandai in order to be able to reuse them for the main game. I mean, not only would that, and I actually think that would be really good news because it is Bandai, by the way. Yes, Bandai Namco. Um, Bandai Namco. Bandai. Yeah. Um, you, no, you, you are totally right. It, I mean, from, from I don't know if you've seen the trailer. I, I, I don't know if you guys. I watched the trailer. the trailer. Yeah. It looks gorgeous. It doesn't look. It looks great. It doesn't look the same. I, I see where you're coming from. It doesn't look. And the there's same. a big problem. I mean, I, I know a lot of the Pokemon community. Uh, have a problem with like the scaling and stuff because obviously mm. when you play the mainline scene, when you play the old ones with sprites it's not really clear how big anything is yeah but in the new ones it's very clear how big a pokemon is relative to your player character yeah and uh for me personally i don't know about anyone else but it does kind of take away from it a little bit kind of makes <laughs> the pokemon seem a little bit silly yeah. like when you've got like a waylord that's like a little cat size. It's like, I don't know. It doesn't seem as cool anymore. <laughs> in in Pokemon Sword and Shield, uh, in the expansions, um, you can see a Whale Lord in the sea and it is cool. huge. Yeah, um, and that's awesome because then it's like, it feels like part of the adventure. But again, if it's just little, that's fine if it's supposed to be that way, but it, I don't know. I, I remember playing the third generation where Whale Lord was, you know, it's just one example, obviously. Mm, yeah, yeah. But I remember being like, what? I want a massive Pokemon. I want a Pokemon that's fucking huge. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm alone in that, but I think if if they do go for that and they do a little bit more on the scaling and they reuse some of those assets for the new line games, I think there'll be some controversy around it. But I think it'll also be really good. I know. I I think that's a really good shout. I I, I yeah. I think that's a really good shout. I mean, I I guess I've said this lots of times. The Pokemon's not really. It's not really my kind of series. It's not really my series, <laughs> but like I, I still would like to play this game. And I'm just, I'm just a little bit gutted because it's not multi online multiplayer. I don't think. I don't. I don't think you can do it together. I know. I can't remember if it was multiplayer. No, it's just single player. Just single player. Which is what, what, what kind of like game? couch co-op? One person has a Joy-Con each, and they're just like looking around, mm. like trying to like snap all the Pokemon they can, and like you're both like oh, you know getting yeah. over at the same time, and like if you and, like, you can have certain co-op objectives where if you both snap certain Pokemon, mm. like if one of you gets a Caterpie and then one of you gets a Metapod, and then a Butterfree will sprout out. Yeah. And it could have been like um, the Buzz Lightyear game at Disney. Well, I was like, just going to say, where, where you exactly compete like against yeah. each other, where like yeah, yeah. every every Pokemon is is worth a score and like whichever, you're, you're both frantically looking around again. That'd Undefeated. be so good. Undefeated. In, in Buzz Lightyear. Lightyear. In Buzz Lightyear. Oh, right, right, right. I just, I just thought you were just going undefeated. I was like, I don't know what it is. It could be anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, you worked there. You, you, you did work had there. Many, more than one opportunity yeah, to did, go on that. Did, oh, did. oh, and did I use those opportunities? Oh, man. <laughs> do, do you know, that is genuinely one of my favorite rides at Disney. It's, it's, it's great. It's, it's so much such fun. a great ride. It's Underrated a Disney ride. ride, Star Tours. Oh, Star yeah. Tours is good. Star yeah. Tours is like awesome. a 4D simulation thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's so good. Mm-hmm. And it's like it's like randomized, like it's so like a, there's like three sections of it, and you, you get a random selection of the three sections. Yeah. Wow. I got, I've got a question. Like we will just uh, we are drifting away from Pokemon Snap, but, no, we've, <laughs> no, but we've we've come onto a really interesting to- topic in in a sense, and I don't mind like us drifting over to it because it's a genu- it's a genuine question. We've spoken before that Pokemon is 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 technically the biggest like media product on its own or like mm. they br- I think they bring in billions specifically for Pokemon so based on the fact that Nintendo have got a new theme park Universal how long do you think it'll be into- and this is just you know we don't know really but before they start integrating Pokemon into like a theme park because think of all the kids they'll want to go like kids these days will want to go to like a Pokemon themed area or theme park as much as they'll want to go to like Disney it- at least I, yeah. I think I don't think they need to. I think a Pokemon shop will attract just as many kids. That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Yeah. A little Pokemon I, um, shop. You do realise you've just opened my eyes to the possibility of a Pokemon Westworld, where you have animatronic <laughs> Pokemon, you then actually have to go out and hunt. <laughs> oh my god, could you imagine that? I was just It'll thinking all of go like... Wrong. <laughs> my brain just went to like a Caterpillar ride, except it's a Gyarados. <laughs> that would be cute. That like would be that. cute. I like that. Um, but yeah, um, I mean, Universal Studios. If you need help, we are. Yeah, we've obviously the four got a lot guys. Of you should definitely not listen to because you're all professionals, <laughs> and we're and not. Instead of a pirate ship, you have a whale lord. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice, nice. I mean, it's, say, saying that, the pirate ship is always one of my favorite rides. Uh, mm. and, and they do the RC car in Disney Disneyland Paris, or they could do it in Disney World as well. That's also a really good ride. Anyway, enough about Disney, Disney, Disneyland, Disney World, <laughs> Universal Studios. Um, Pokemon Snap, new Pokemon Snap is coming out on the 30th of April. And I think it's fair to say that we're all pretty excited about that. Um, the, I can't wait to play cars. it on my Switch. The RC cars would be Tauros. Oh, uh, yeah. 
Little yeah, yeah. Toro start running <laughs> around. You're starting, to lose, you're starting to lose me with these Pokemon because I don't know anything past, like, Gen 1. You know what Taurus <laughs> is. How dare <laughs> you? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Is Taurus it's big, Gen 1? Which one is Taurus? Like, Gen 1 is the bull like, one. Ox. Oh, of course it is. Oh, I know. Ash catches a bunch Lapras in, in the, log in the anime. Yeah, lap, the Lapras would be Lapras log awesome. log yeah. Or, or like awesome. little Dratinis. Little <laughs> Dratinis. I know that one. Well, if we're going to do okay, Lapras, uh, it should be Sudo Wudo. <laughs> I, I think yeah. I think we should like put yeah, together. Yeah, next story, Johnny. Quick, we're going. I was well going to say <laughs> we should definitely we should definitely put these like all of these thoughts together and compile them and then just send them to Universal Studios and be like, we've. I mean, I know I said five minutes ago, don't talk to us, but maybe you should talk to us. Yeah, and and, we've and got also ideas. people who are listening. If anyone has, is any, everyone's listening, put them in the comments. Put your best ideas. Yeah. For it. Tell us because then we can then we can pull them together and then they have to do them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that that's how it works. Yeah, that's yep. how it works. That's exactly yep. how it works. Um, all right, let's let's Moving move on. on. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on to something uh, <laughs> slightly less Pokemon related. Uh, VGC have written an article about how uh, Microsoft, Amazon, and Google are actively seeking further video game company acquisitions, with at least three de- deals going on right now. That's according to BWW Media Group's Brad Sams, a journalist specialized in Microsoft related news. Um, Sam said, I've been hearing a lot of conversations behind closed doors about acquisitions in the industry. There's a lot of moving things going on right now. It's hard to see which companies are going to get snatched up and by what vendors, but I can tell you there's some big, big industry names out there being approached by Microsoft. Uh, in, and, uh, but then you also have Amazon and you also have Google. Sony is part of the conversation, but it doesn't seem to be as much as Google and Amazon are. Um, we spoke, we, I think we kind of spoke about this, um, recently as well with acquisitions. I, 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 I I kind of guessed that with Microsoft. If you buy someone as big as Bethesda, like smaller companies, they're going to be a lot easier to pick up as well. Is there anyone that like... I mean, the interesting one, I guess, would really be Amazon and Google and see what they do there because I remember... Was it Warner Brothers who were up for sale? I think we spoke about that like months ago and then they, they took themselves off. But mm. can you imagine if they if they got... Like Amazon, for instance, had bought Warner Brothers and then made uh, like Batman, the Batman series, the Batman series of games or... Um, like an exclusive to what you know, whatever Amazon put out. Like, do you think that they could buy someone big, like specifically Amazon and Google? Do you think they could buy them? Like, could Google Stadia buy someone relatively big and make it exclusive? Do you think they do that? Anything is possible. Like, I hope it doesn't. Mm. I I don't know. It'll be pretty unprecedented. Um, and I I I don't know if that's the game anymore. I, I don't mm. know if exclusives are. Oh. Are, st- what Stadia they were. need exclusives. They really so do. Yeah. Hard. I agree. I agree. But it seems to me that exclusives don't don't seem to be what sells the console these days. We'll I mean, the PlayStation still, yeah. Five has one exclusive at the moment. I think. Uh, no, it has uh, several actually. It's got it's, Astro's yeah. Playroom. Um, it's got Demon uh, Souls, Sackboy's Adventure, Demon Souls, Ma- Ma- Spider-Man. Is Sackboy's, Miles Sackboy's Adventure out. Yeah, it came out. Like it comes out. It comes with the console. Oh, Zach, you'd okay. love that game so much. Oh, I've seen it. It looks it's, really cute. I thought I didn't so realize it was out. Cute. Actually, it's so cute. Uh, Astro's Playroom comes with the console. Yeah, that Astro's. Play- there's Astro's. Yeah, sorry, Playroom, Astro's Playroom is what I meant. Yeah, yeah, uh, Miles Morales, uh, Demon Souls, Morales, uh, Bug Snacks, Souls. Bug Snacks. Bug Snacks. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. I mean, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Mm. Hey, Xbox uh, has like one. So I, I think I think the tricky thing with like uh, with 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 Amazon and Google, for instance, is if they buy a company, like the company need to have some assurances, really, that because like it's one of those on, things. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 one second. The, but those most of those games are out on PlayStation Four, aren't they? Apart from um, Demon Souls. Oh yeah, but they're still Sony exclusives. Right, you right. Know, but then they're right, not. But know. they're not selling a console. Then are they? Because you can play yeah. all those games on your old console. Mm. Sure, but that's like saying Breath of the Wild didn't sell the Switch. <laughs> yeah i guess it yeah did. that that is a good point uh it did didn't it yeah, yeah. pretty much it was yeah i it mean completely did. i only bought i only wanted it because i wanted to play why didn't i just play it on the on the video? <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong you know why yeah yeah because <laughs> i didn't have one actually was the real reason yeah. if i'd had one i probably would have done um, it was trash <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? everybody gets one every week so dab gets one um but yeah i it, it is it is a really interesting conversation i, I don't i mean based on what was said there it, it seems like sony is i guess more interested in buying companies they work closely with whereas microsoft seems to be wanting to buy someone that will I, I i've said i said this previously and, and i've heard this so many times microsoft needs to get I, I was actually looking at the figures um for the the next gen consoles the and it's so obvious where the biggest issue is for for microsoft is japan like it's 
Mm-hmm. And we've said that we've said it previously. They they do they do not have a foothold. And in fact, I was looking at the numbers uh, of con- of next gen consoles sold between the US and Amer- um, uh, the U- uh, sorry between the Xbox and the PlayStation. They're about the same. The, the big issue is Japan. Like PlayStation still sells loads, but the Xbox does not sell in Japan. But at Japan all. can't. Japan sales can't possibly compete with America's sales. No, I, I think it's more that PlayStation Four, a uh, PlayStation, PlayStation still sells loads of consoles, whereas the Xbox literally. And I mean this, hundred like it can sometimes be in the hundreds, right. whereas PlayStation still, like still be selling thousands. Um, and does and, that and does that tilt the balance? Do you think big time that you can see yeah. that the, the big? I mean, it, like I think the Xbox One sold around about. Was it about fifty million? Some, something like it, 50, 50 million. Um, but you look at the, the sales in Japan, and it was it, like Japan sold. I think it was like ten million PlayStations. Wow. It would only, it would still only bump it up by about ten million, but that's still ten million. Then not getting. Yeah, I can see, I can see, uh, especially Google. But I mean, these we're talking about three American companies now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see them all trying to get some big Chinese studios. Yeah, I can see. Um, uh, or Korean studios, you know, mm. and like the the guys behind Genshin Impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I think somewhere like Stadia or uh, Amazon Luna could really mm. do with getting someone like Genshin Impact in. Um, uh, Mihoyo, I think is their name. Um, the team behind Genshin Impact, like they, because China is a bigger market than America and Japan combined. But it's so yeah. hard to get stuff in there. But yeah, like, yeah. That's why Tencent are becoming so huge because mm. they're getting like a five percent share in this, a two point five percent share in that, and their job is basically to get those things into China. Yeah. Uh, funny, funny fact. Um, the Nintendo Switch, the Super Mario Three D World Nintendo Switch, the beautiful red and blue one, that is allowed to be sold in, uh, to China. But Super Mario Three D World on the Switch hasn't yet been certified to be sold in China. That's really funny. Wow. Because it takes years and years and years for this stuff to get in. So, um, like, if they get a big Chinese studio, then that I actually, door should open wide. I actually saw the other day the, um, I think the Nintendo Switch has just become the highest selling console in China. The the, the, be- mm. the best selling console in China. Which, again, is not not really a surprise, but it's the market leader in, in China for um for consoles. So, yeah, you are, you are, that is totally right. Though. I mean, it, it, these American companies in particular, they need... <laughs> That's that's kind of the area they need to get into. Uh, I'm, I, I've said before, I, I don't know who um, uh, Microsoft will go for. I can't see them going for it. I mean, they could try and get someone like Sega. I really don't see that happening. But uh, maybe someone... Platinum Games, we said previously, would be a good one. But I think their relationship with Nintendo is too good. And actually, we'll talk about Platinum Games in a bit. But yeah, and, uh, all yeah, those big and companies. And also, I think Platinum's relationship with Xbox might be a bit... Oh, if he, oh, oh yeah, scale, Scarlet, Scarlet Nexus, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Even I mean, though scale, yeah, got scale bound, yeah, that's it. Gets but um, someone like Level Five, maybe. Yeah. Someone who's like still big, you know, like Nino Cooney and that lot, and um, mm. maybe someone like that. And they've got a lot of franchises. It's like, uh, what what is Level Five owned? Level Five. Oh, Layton. Layton. Yeah. Professor Layton games. Um, uh, Nino Cooney. Um, Dark so Cloud. Those, I presume, I'm guessing those games do sell well in Japan, given that they're. I mean, mm. one of them's a. A Studio Ghibli thing, the other's uh, mm. like a Nintendo property. Mm. Uh, yeah, uh, they made like the Yokai Watch games. Yeah, but, Yo-Kai yeah, Watch Professor as well. Layton would be a, a, a nice snack. Is Yokai Watch is that the the Pokemon um, clone? Yeah, yeah, clone yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Rogue Galaxy and Dark Cloud. You're going back into like the early 2000s for those, but like to have those IPs, mm-hmm. like people are a lot of people are crying out for Dark Cloud re- uh, remake or Dark Cloud two. Uh, it never got it. It's like mm. the kind of Chrono Trigger esque kind of cult following. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, I can definitely see like a group like that, or um, but yeah, but I, yeah, I, I think I think Sega. I think Sega. I, but what for though? What, yeah. what do they want Sega for? Sega has loads. Sega yeah, does do. so much. Sega has Football Manager. Sega has Total War. I, like Sega has obviously mm. Sonic. Sega has uh, Yakuza. I feel like Sonic is such a... I mean, because Sonic is such a big part of that. Someone says they're buying Sega. Right, new Sonic game. Mm. I don't know. I just wouldn't want to be associated with Sonic anymore. Like. <laughs> Sonic Mania is the best Sonic game ever made, and it came out like four years ago. Yeah, and it's not very good. <laughs> uh, you're joking. <laughs> Zach Hamilton. I don't like down. Sonic games. Yeah, get back to your Wii U. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I, I w- it'd be, it would be interesting to see if they if they took a jump at Sega. I, I, I just don't see... 
I, I couldn't see Sega doing it. Like, they were a lot bigger than Bethesda. They would cost a hell of a lot more. And Microsoft definitely have the money, but it is interesting to see what, what they do with that. They also uh, don't yeah. want to bite off more than they can chew. You know, they've taken quite a lot on in the last year. Yeah. Uh, it, I don't it, think there is anything that Microsoft doesn't think it, you can chew. Also, it, it, I, I, th- th- this might be a controversial opinion as well, but it kind of makes me sad that Microsoft are just going out and buying loads of like companies as well at the same time. Because, like, mm. it, I, I, I don't know what it is about, like... I don't know. Maybe that's just me. It, it just I, the focus should always be on like creating, like creating a, a, uh, an environment where you're making really cool, in, incredible games. Whereas like going out and buying the studios, I don't, I don't know. It, it just it, homo- it also homogenizes the the um, yeah you know, the gaming sphere. Like it makes it a little bit like there's going to be more and more crossover. Whereas one of the great things about the medium as a whole mm. is that it. It can do lots of different things. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I, I, yeah, it's just something I thought thought about previously. But yeah, we'll we'll see what happens. That's, I mean, something's going to happen over the next year. Um, so we'll talk about uh, Nintendo uh, very quickly. Um, and we actually mentioned Platinum Games. Uh, Hideki Kamiya as a par- uh, had a conversation at the Nintendo Everything Translated, um, where he talks about Bayonetta three, gives an update on that, but also other upcoming titles uh, from the studio in 2021. Um, so uh, this is the full transcript uh, as, tra- as translated by Nintendo Everything. Uh, he was speaking to uh, hamster boss Satoshi Hamada. Uh, so Hamada said, I believe you're very busy with new projects. And Kamiya said, well, I suppose we've been working on new stuff like Bayonetta 3. Not that I can say too much, but I hope we can give an update during the year and give updates on a few more unannounced projects too. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say that, but I said it anyway. Um, the point is, I'm trying to do a lot of stuff this year. Please keep an eye on us. I'm hoping to bring some hype to this industry. Uh, I love uh, Kamiya. I, 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 he's also hilarious on Twitter. He just blocks people all the time for a laugh. He does it just for a laugh. Just like someone asks him a question, he'll just go block. And it's so funny. The, um, um, the Wonderful 101 uh, Kickstarter had a tier that you could pay for where you would get Kamiya to block you. That's amazing. I love that. I, I love that. It's just, yeah. But um, my, my first my first thought from a Nintendo perspective um, is Astral Chain 2. Astral, Ch- Astral Chain sold too well um, for it not to be utilized again. And the first game was really good. I don't know if you guys played it, but um, I can't remember if you guys did. But it's, yeah, it's a, it. it was a really good game. It was, it was tricky getting into... But there was so much about the game, which it was one of my favorite games of 2019. It was, I think, it was like in my top three, along with Fire Emblem and The Witcher. Um, so yeah, I, it's 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 a really good game. I'm, I'd like to see them do more with it. Uh, they definitely could, considering the ending of the game, which I won't spoil. But yeah, I, 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 I we we've said we said recently as well, Bayonetta three. We haven't heard anything about that for a while. People they keep mentioning that they're going to talk about it. So the only news we've had is that there's news coming about Bayonetta three. Um, but I think it could make this year. I think it could make Christmas, maybe. Um, but who knows? Uh, just let's look out for new games anyway. Um, let's move on. Um, sadly, Hogwarts Legacy is postponed until 2022. A phrase I'm sure that we'll be repeating quite often this year, sadly. Um, Avalanche Software wrote on Twitter that um, creating the best possible experience for all the Wizarding World and gaming fans is paramount to us, so we're giving the game the time that it needs. Hogwarts Legacy will now be released in 2022. Uh, they then thanked uh, all the fans for the like, tremendous re- uh, reaction to the announcement. Um, I was, I, I'm, a little, I'm a little sad about this because it, it looked, the trailer looked so good. Like, Rosie was hyped for that game. Like, Rosie was so hyped for for Harry Potter, uh, well, not Harry Potter, but Hogwarts Legacy. Um, were you guys, were any of you looking into getting it or even trying it? It does really come across as a proper fans game. Mm. Like, for those people who would love to go LARPing in Hogwarts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. And, and, I mean, that's not me. Mm. I mean, if, if it gets really good reviews, sure, I mm. might consider Check it. Out. But, mm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm neither here nor there. I would love a game where you are a wizard going to wizarding school and learning how to become a wizard. Whether or not that is Hogwarts is kind of irrelevant for me. <laughs> if it is like, okay, don't talk about Harry Potter. This happened hundreds of years before all that shite. Mm. Let's go right into the deep, deep history of Hogwarts. And so like all the real Harry Potter nerds go, oh my God, it's that character that got mentioned in that book. Mm. Or like for me, who is like, right, I've seen all the films. 
they're fine, whatever. But yeah, I just yeah. want to like be in this world. I want to go to potions class. And I, d- <laughs> I don't want to have to worry about some boy with a thunder scar on his head. <laughs> well, I think I, it, I think it's like a hundred years before, isn't it? I think it was like eighteen nineties. I think it's set. Oh, it's, it's still gonna be talking about Voldemort probably. <laughs> but, like the prophecy. <laughs> well, sorry, Zach. What were you gonna say? I interrupted you. No, I was gonna say I agree. I'm I am kind of a Harry Potter fan. Um, as much as one can be in the current climate of Harry no, Potter yeah, fan, yeah, sure, fan. But uh, uh, I agree. I think that I think the strength of the series is is the the magic and all the. Mm. In fact, my my sister's boyfriend watched all the films um, for the first time. He's a little bit older than me, and he sat down and said, um, he said, "Yeah, they're really good. There's just not enough magic in the films." And I like sat down and I watched them again, and I was like, "Oh yeah." There's not nearly enough. The books have quite a lot of magic and a lot of mm. like fun little things that have nothing to do with the plot. And they're kind of the best bits. You know what yeah. I mean? Like there's spells that just like do dumb stuff or there's like, uh, you know, a potion that does something cool. And it's got like kind of like, it feels like a lot of very small high concepts. And it feels like instead of just being a baseline, going to school mm. and becoming a wizard, it does have like enough nuance and stuff to keep it interesting. I think it could very well be a very, very good game. Yeah. Um, but it could also be a dog shit uh, cash grab <laughs> game. So well, imagine if it was co-op and you could like go to oh, classes cool. together, like VGA going to hope. Oh, <laughs> totally. And, like, the sorting hat. And like we see which one we're all going to get into. That's a, that's a stream in itself. Just that's a that already right yeah, exists, to be fair. Just yeah. like it's Pottermore. I know. Yeah. But... No, but you want to sit down with all the music and yeah, there's like, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. like the, the hat makes the noises and shit. Yeah, I can totally see that. <laughs> Zach, as, 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 like, just to jump on your point about the, the, about the films in general, this again, this is a side point. Just really quickly, do you think that those those films would be better if they just had the same like creative team from start to finish? Because that's the one thing I noticed is that like, because I've only seen the Harry Potter films once each. I'm not a massive Harry Potter fan. I watched them all in like 2016 for the first time. Um, I actually and... think one of the one of the nice things about it is that it uh, it goes in different directions. Right. I, I don't know if it needed a new director for every fucking film. <laughs> I, you, but you don't want Chris Columbus directing all of them. I just, I, I just, <laughs> I just would worry in that instance that because the first ones are so twee and fun yeah, and cute. Yeah, yeah. And they're shit. great i love them but they're twee as fuck they're so different it, they're so the, different and, and, to the end and, ones. and on Jeez. the other end of it right by the end they're very like green and grungy and like mm. oh i like my chemical romance you know it's very like kind of <laughs> twilighty and that's fine but there there's like i say i think the best parts of those are often the the sort of distractions and the crossovers the stuff mm. that's um my they do different things well and, and, and third arms are great my, <laughs> it my also Chemical Romance feel are awesome. Like... I love my. I used to love my Chemical Romance. Dude, I love Chemical My Chemical yeah. Romance too. I just don't need a film about it. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I think it also helps them not feel like the same movie. You know, it yeah, like you, yeah, you yeah, could yeah. watch the first one and the last one, and they feel like their own thing. And they don't I, just feel like it more does, the same. It does. Re- like I guess. Um, again, we're this is we're not a Harry Potter podcast, but I, I guess <laughs> again, I guess it kind of feels like you know, like how they're going to wizarding school and they're little children they're like oh this is wonderful but by the end it's supposed to like show maybe it's supposed to showcase their journey of like completely how sad and dark everything is supposed to come I mean, maybe i mean maybe that was the intention maybe that's what like they said we have to do it like this going back to harry potter le- the the hogwarts legacy stuff though i would definitely love it if we could all jump in and do that the game does did look really good um i love the fact that like i think you you got to customize your own character but we'll have to wait until 2022 Yo, so. multiplayer online Quidditch. Let's go. <laughs> VGA. That's the it's, new Rocket that's League. That's the new Rocket League. Yeah, that's that's the new Rocket League. League. I actually Rocket hope. League. I actually hope it gets delayed a few more times because I think in order to have the the level of depth that is going to make it a great game, it's going to need shit like that. It's going to mm. need a really well thought out Quidditch. Thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's going to be so many expansions and DLC to that shit. Oh, Don't you yeah, worry. Yeah. Yeah. No matter when it comes out, it'll eventually be good. Yeah, you know what? Oh, I just I'd be happy. hate that. I'm so bored of that, man. Like that whole conversation we've been having the last few months about cyberpunk and shit. Like, I just oh, just yeah. finish your game, finish your damn game. Yeah, no, I mean, I'd be really happy if they just re like redid Bully and reskinned it with. <laughs> <laughs> Can anyone amazing. still name that game in England? Yeah.
Oh, are you asking for the name? I, I think don't know if anyone Dav, still Dav, remembers the Dav name. Dav Gape that remembers it. I always remember Dav Gape. Canis Canon Edit. Edit. That's the one. Canis Canon Edit. All right, let's let's move on. Um, well, Dav Weeks, you're going to be very very happy to know that Nintendo Life have reported that Pikmin Three is now the best selling Pikmin game, at least in Japan for now. Uh, hey. Five hundred thirteen thousand physical copies have been sold, and probably even more digitally, which means the Switch title has outsold the original GameCube Pikmin, uh, which achieved just over five hundred thousand. Um, the original Wii U version of Pikmin 3 only managed to shift 232,000, which means that the, the Switch version has sold double. And the Switch version will have digital sales as well, which the GameCube one wouldn't have had. Um, so it's fair to say that... So I, I guess the one thing I wanted to talk about very, very briefly is it's it the, the big thing that seems to be happening with the Switch is you put a game on the Switch that didn't do well on any of the consoles previously, and it'll do well. Fire Emblem has done the, the best-selling Fire Emblem game, Three Houses. Um, Pikmin has done the exact same thing. Do you think that the same thing could happen with Metroid? Ha- Sorry, how many copies of Pikmin 3? Uh, so on the Wii U, it was 232,000. Uh, on the Switch, it's 513. And there are uh, 75 million Switches in the wild. Yes, but that that's doesn't include that digital. Many. And that's in Japan. That's, stri- that's strictly just Japan. Oh, yeah, just just okay, Japan. Okay. We, haven't, we haven't got the figures from um, mm-hmm. anywhere else. That's just Japan, but it's the best-selling one in Japan, which which is likely to be that it's the best-selling one yeah. in general. Well, um, obviously, Pikmin One and Two both came out on the GameCube, which didn't sell that well. No, um, I mean I've got the I've got the numbers here. Actually, you'd be surprised. Uh, I've got the numbers here for Pikmin One and Two, and they're both around the five hundred thousand mark. But, but again, does that that doesn't include digital? That's my point. Though, so, like, they sold the game sold well on the GameCube, but the GameCube didn't sell well. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. actually, I don't think five hundred thousand for Pikmin three on the Switch is actually that impressive. I know it's mm. just the Japan numbers, but it is indicative of in some way of, of the world. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, sure. And I think I wouldn't pin that down to oh, then we must have a Pikmin four. Mm. I am not so sure about that, but I hope we do. Well, I, I guess at the same time, all those numbers were done during, like, obviously the pandemic. And as, like, I think last week we were saying, the 60% are, and above sometimes sales were digital. So mm. realistically, it could be up, it could be over a million. I imagine it, it, it could be close to a million Pikmin 3 yeah. was sold That does sound better. A million in Japan is actually a lot. Yeah, I imagine so. it is. I mean, we don't have the final. This is just physical, but it's. I'm glad. I'm glad. I think e- even for Nintendo to just see that it's the best-selling one for them to go. Oh well, it, it's clearly sold well on the Switch. If we put another one out, it might sell better again. I, I I think for me, I'm just desperately hoping the Metroid gets get something this year because the Switch just seems to help these these. I don't know these flagging. Um, old series, and I mean Star Fox F Zero Metroid. If if it was ever going to be on any console, probably the Switch because it's just so in demand, and games the attach rate for some games is ridiculous. But yeah, uh, let's move on uh, to uh, Takaya Imamura has retired from Nintendo. Uh, reports Kotaku. If you don't know who he is, he worked in some of the company's most iconic games, including F Zero, Star Fox, and the Legend of Zelda: Majora's Mask. Um, the reason why he's very important is he also designed uh, our very favorite Zelda character, Tingle. Um, <laughs> he uploaded a selfie taken outside Nintendo's Kyoto headquarters and wrote, this is my last day going to work. I took a selfie with the empty office. The office was empty because they're all working from home. Uh, I guess I won't be coming uh, in here anymore. And as you'd expect, I'll miss it. Imamura expressed his gratitude over the past 32 years. Uh, he first joined to help wow. with, as a graphic designer um, and he helped with FZ, the original F-Zero um, and then he went to work on uh, Star Fox modeling the characters after his colleagues. Did you know that Fox McCloud, does anyone know who he was based on? Oh, is that uh, Miyamoto? It is, Shigeru Miyamoto. Um, I also found out a really horrifying thing about Star Fox, their feet. Uh, are robots, so they all apparently they all cut the base of their feet off to have robotic implants, which is horrifying. What's because it's something to do with the uh, them being in the ships that they're in? They can't. Well, I thought that's what it was because I thought that's what it was, but it's not. Well, that's not why. It's it's about running faster, even though they fly ships. Oh, that's not as cool. Uh, but they run at the end of Star Force sixty four. <laughs> they do, and they run at the start to their ships. It's like, oh, we gotta get to the ship. They, they peg it down the. Down so the that's ship, so, so Dav to answer your question from the stream the other night. That's why they were running and not using their ships at the end because they have robot feet. Because <laughs> yeah, they robot go feet. faster. Apparently, they yeah. go faster on the floor. How stupid! How can <laughs> I think of that? <laughs> But um, the reason why I guessed Miyamoto is because a few years ago they did a Nintendo Direct where they had um, Miyamoto, Iwata, and I think Reggie 
all as the different fights st- Star Fox characters when they announced oh, Star cool. Fox Zero. Cute. And Miyamoto was um, Star Fox. Ah, uh, right. Well, which one was uh, Iwata? Do you know? Oh, I think he might have been Peppy. I was going to say, none of them want to be Slippy, right? Just, just Slippy can wait outside. I have I to know. Uh, Actually, no, who, Falco, to be fair. He is annoying. Who voices Slippy? I don't who know. Who is the voice actor, for, the English voice actor for Slippy? I'm on because... it. Keep talking. <laughs> I, because I always assumed when I played it when I was a kid that it was a that it was it, that Slippy was a female character because the voice is is super Very high. Yeah, Slippy yeah. is Slippy is a man, and I want to know who voiced him. Played uh, by a woman. Played by a woman. Well, there you go. That's that 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 helps. Maybe the confusion. Japanese voice is a really deep male. Oh, that'd be voice. so funny. Oh, that's got to be true. <laughs> I've got to find out now. Yeah. I really hope that's true. Slippy's like <laughs> do a barrel roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's um, so stressful as well because the voice is so high, and every time yeah, it says it something, it's like, "Oh, I got to just uh. screaming like, it's, ah, yeah." Um, but yeah, um, fifty percent of this woman's um, IMDb credits are uh, actually more than fifty percent are Slippy Toad. That's amazing! Games. Brilliant! That's amazing! That's amazing! Dav, have you started Star Fox Adventure yet? No, I'm doing Pokemon Coliseum first. Right, right, okay, uh, okay, okay. okay. I am really excited to see if. I'm excited to see how well Star Fox Adventures. It's adventure. Adve- I can. I can't remember. One adventure. One you adventure. Only got one. one adventure. Um, is uh, is at least any good? Uh, I, um, I I don't I'm know. I'm gonna tell you now. Know. I'm not expecting it to be. <laughs> no. Um. All right. Let's move on from Star Fox. But uh, we wish uh, Imamura uh, a lovely retirement. He's done. Uh, I mean, it's be- just for Tingle. Just for Tingle. Just for Tingle, um, man. He gives me I, a Tingle. Can I, hey. Hey. I, <laughs> um, uh, gents, I said last week uh, that Twitter was trying to complete Pokemon Red. They've just defeated Misty. I'm giving you an update. I'm going to try and keep you updated every wow. week. Um, yeah, Constantine Litard, if, if you want to check him out on Twitter, uh, he wrote, uh, it took more than a week uh, to get here, but Misty was finally defeated. So they, the internet has beaten uh misty and pokemon red via someone's twitter avatar and i think that's amazing i watched it for about two minutes i wouldn't <laughs> recommend it it's really boring because like every 15 seconds the screen will change but like you're just staring at a twitter photo for like 15 seconds waiting for it to change and it's just literally moving like not very much obviously what um but, God. what team are they using i don't know i didn't i didn't check out what oh. team they're using but um I will we'll check. I will check for you next week. Uh, and finally, Andy Robertson of VGC reports that Ghost of Tsushima fans have helped raise more than $260,000 to rebuild a shrine on the real Japanese island uh, of Tsushima. Um, a priest at Tsushima's Wat- Watasui Shrine, I apologize I, if I butchered the Japanese language, launched a crowdfunding page in November to help rebuild, uh, rebuild uh, a gate that recently collapsed during a typhoon. And the crowdfunding effort concluded on, uh, it was like two Sundays ago, with more than 540% of its uh, 5 million, um, I think it's Japanese yen, uh, goal raised. Uh, over 2,000 people contributed to the project. Um most a lot of fans actually of the Sucker Punch game, uh, Ghost of Tsushima. And there's a quote here: "We have received a great deal of support from the players of Ghost of Tsushima game set in Tsushima, and I feel that is God's guidance." Um, so yeah, I, I feel like that's that's quite a lovely story. Dav, are you going to talk about that game today? I was going to bring it up. Yeah. So do you want actually? Want to, I mean, that seems like the perfect place to start off with. Really, we're talking about Ghost of Tsushima. It is an incredibly beautiful game. Um, yeah. How how. Do you want to go first? Do you want to just jump off that if yeah, you're going to talk sure. about it? Should we go from there? So, I like it. It's a it's a really nice game. It's been a while since I've played like a, an open world game like, mm. of like that, seeing as I don't really play Assassin's Creed anymore. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> like, But it is very much in that style of Assassin's Creed and Far Cry. Yeah. And like recently, I stopped playing Far Cry after about six hours just because I was like, ah, okay, I just... I, th- I feel I've got all I've got out of this game. Yeah, Sashima's better than that. I'll give it that. And, yeah, it is. It is. Uh, it's it's really pretty. It is really pretty. They put so much effort into the lighting to the point that, like, sunbeams coming through the fog can actually make it really hard to see your enemies. <laughs> That's why <what> I- <laughs> it's like it's really pretty, but I'm dying. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, and I love like how bizarrely it different parts of the island seem to have different seasons like some of them have 
yeah. green trees. And, <laughs> and suddenly it's autumn in this forest and all the trees are <laughs> yellow and orange. Um, it's, yeah, it's gorgeous. And I really do like the look, but I do feel they spent so much time making it as pretty as possible that my expectation for this perfection just hasn't been achieved in the actual gameplay. Yeah. I mean... The fighting is good. I like the fighting. I like the changing great, stances. Yeah. I like the standoffs. That's really fun. Um, how many hours in, uh, uh, into are you? Do, do you know? Do you know how many hours you are? Ten, fifty. I never keep track. Oh, okay, fair, but, fair. Um, I always keep track. Yeah, me too. I, yeah, I like I'm to get to see where I'm doing. Track. Yeah, I'm. I'm coming up to the end of Act One. Okay, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, like I do. I j- just to jump in very quickly yeah. uh, on on that point. You make like I completely agree with what you're saying. The game is visually incredible, and I love the combat. I really enjoyed the story as well, but the side quests get so repetitive, so yes. quick. There's like five side quests, and then yeah. that's it. There's Track like, footprints through mud. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, kill yeah. a random person. Mm. Uh, liberate a town. Yeah, <laughs> or liberate a stronghold. And yeah, yeah, it's you, you, kind exactly kind of it. it. it is oh, kind of it. and also. Stalking missions. I thought we said no to stalking uh, missions years ago. Fucking stalking mm. missions. And also, after about the tenth fox I had to follow, I was just like, nah, I'm done. I'm done, <laughs> I'm done with following foxes. And there's right. four. There's like forty eight of them. Yeah. So have, just be wary they, of that. Do they have robotic feet? So again? No, no, they don't have robotic feet. <laughs> sadly, <laughs> they are little scamps, though. They do run around like, yeah. and you can hear them. Like, as they run around as well, it's really it is quite adorable. <laughs> I'll tell I'll tell you some really fun, like a really funny. Cool. It kind of highlights the one of my issues with like the lack of finesse. So I came upon one of the fox's shrines without meeting the fox initially. Oh yeah, and the animation just chucks the fox in there as if he, he led you there. And I was like, hang on, I didn't follow you. <laughs> it did that you know, for me as well. Just stuff like that, I find like a little bit annoying. Yeah. That also was it. Like, there's only about six character models. That's a bit annoying. Yeah. Um, like, there's literally about five types of enemy. That's so, it. does it feel like Ghost of Tsushima Two will be really good? Possibly. Like in the, the way like, Assassin's oh, Creed One was pretty junk, but then yeah, it, they yeah, got yeah. better. They learned from it. Yeah, exactly. Maybe but they were just maybe, yeah. they were just so. putting the foundations down. Do you, do you think yeah. that maybe they pushed it? They just tried it, wanted to push it because they knew it was the last year of the PlayStation Four. Realistically, maybe, maybe that's what it is. I, I have no idea. Because I, I do like for me, I, I really loved the game, and I thought the majority of the game was really good. Like Dav says, though, I, I think two will be better based on all the reasons you've just said, Dav. Like Dav, Dav, like, Dav Gape just gave, made a point, and then Dav Weeks, I'm agreeing with. I'll, that I'll give you an example of where it could be better. Right? How about? Get rid of all the stupid climbing bits and grappling mm. hook moments, which just doesn't feel right in the mm. realistic tone that they're trying to yeah. create for the yeah, game. Yeah. Like, and, and then suddenly he's like Spider-Man climbing walls and swimming. Yeah. And swimming. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. I, that just seems weird. That just doesn't feel right in the world in mm. this world. And just put all of that effort into finessing all the other stuff. You know? I, yeah, I. One thing I was going to say very quickly, and this is purely down to my experience of playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which I'll talk about in a bit, but also because of playing that. And before that, Cyberpunk, it really makes you realize just how long it takes to traverse a massive open world and all you've got is a horse. It, it can be so frustrating on time. Sometimes worlds need to be smaller. And I think that game could have been smaller. The put world could have been in, smaller. Put a car in Ghost of Tsushima. Exactly. Well, they <laughs> put a bike in Breath of the Wild. That's my mention. That's my mention this week. There you go. Nice, nice. The um, the fast travel is there, and thank God there's fast yeah. travel. Mm. There's that. But yeah, bullet, on the whole, bullet train. Um, bullet train. Bullet train. <laughs> Ghost of Tsushima Two is set in the 1990s. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah. yeah um, anything else? Good anything else? Um, about that game? No, I think I've said what I have to say. How, how did you? Game. What are you thinking of the story? Did, did are you enjoying the story? I am enjoying the story, yeah. Um, it's like I mean, I've always had a thing for like samurai culture and all that. I, I find mm, it really yeah, yeah. fun and really interesting. And it, it, you know, it, it itches that scratch really nicely. The story's really nice. I like this whole backdrop of a Mongolian invasion, and mm. we're trying to liberate the island. But it's very Far Cry in that sense. It's basically yeah. a Far Cry story in mm. exactly that. But it works, you know. It's fine. 
it made me um, watch an Akira Kurosawa film last night. Oh, it nice! Was, like it was like that's I how much that. it's inspiring me. It's like oh, now I want to watch samurai movies. Yeah, I was like, I, Thirteen yeah. Assassins. Love that film. Such oh, a good it's film. so good, and the remake as well. Yeah, yeah, the remake's beautiful. I, I was saying yeah, to um, like when I, when I was playing it, uh, I was saying to Rosie that I've never wanted to go to Japan more in my life just because of how just about how incredible a job they did making Japan look beautiful. They, yeah. it, it is. It, if, if that's what Japan looks like, I'm. I was sold anyway. I'm definitely sold now. <laughs> I mean, they have they have Nintendo, matter what, Nintendo Land, Nintendo Worlds. It's there. That's another reason. <laughs> um, I I love that playing Ghost of Tsushima makes you want to go to Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's just another thing I could do. <laughs> but awesome. Um, anything else, Steph? Anything else you want to add? Uh, Ooh, there well, is some. Two- there is. Go I was on. going to say. There's something else we need. We need to talk about. But I guess we can talk about that as a group. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. Okay. Uh, so in that case, I'll bring up the other game that I've been playing, which is a game I don't think has been mentioned on this podcast. Ring Fit Adventure. Oh, it has. But I don't think you were here. Oh, I missed that one. Yeah, yeah I, I, so I briefly Adventure. spoke about it with Dav. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I got that. That's quite fun. It's wicked. I it... saw you were playing that while I was streaming uh, Pokemon on Saturday. I was like, Ooh, oh, Dav's playing Ring Fit. There you go. Getting my gains. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it's nice. It's fun. It's more motivating than getting me to want to play five-a-side football or something <laughs> like that, honestly. Um, no, it's fun. I do like it. You know, it. I just hope I can stick to that now. Like, it, if there was anything that was going to make me like try and boost my heart rate, it's playing video games. So, there we go. I'm, I'm embarrassed to go back just in case it berates me because it's, <laughs> it's been months a long time since I was there it's like Animal Fair Crossing enough. when you go back and oh. it's been months and they're like you like, haven't seen you us in months I'm worried if it goes back it. where have you been fatty and I'm just like <laughs> 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 so that's what my Animal Crossing is to me <laughs> that's Animal Crossing <laughs> <laughs> hey fatty <laughs> I have, I've been to Animal Crossing once since April and it was not an enjoyable experience yeah Rosie genuinely gets upset with me when I'm like, "Why don't you check it out?" She's like, "No, I'm not. I'm not yeah. going back. That I know. I don't want them to talk to me." <laughs> <It's> <laughs> guilt tripping. It's so just guilt oh, tripping. Yeah, it's guilt tripping. I'm but like, yeah. Oh, I'm thinking of leaving the island because I haven't got any friends. And I'm like, "Good, you're a fictional character in the made-up world." <laughs> There's loads of you here. Chat to him. Yeah, yeah. He's a talking dog. That's you're so cool. By people. <laughs> uh, Dab. Anything else? Anything else you want to talk about? Uh, no. Oh, awesome. Um, Jen, uh, Dav, Dav's act, do, do you even want to go? I've got three games, two of them be quicker than the other. Cool. So, first, um, I finally put Yakuza Like a Dragon to rest um, after 58 hours. Nice. And what an experience. Oh my god. Oh! I played it for like six and a half hours straight on Sunday and just had an amazing time. That story is phenomenal. All the side quests are so fun. And most of the, like, uh, yeah, just so varied. Like, uh, I did a side quest on Sunday where, like, you have to, like, stand there and, like, count how many men or women go past. And, like, because this is old guy, you know, like, the legacy of, like, having a clicker to count people for, like, a traffic census. Mm. But, like, because of his arthritis, he can't use the clicker anymore. So he's, <laughs> like, he's your now traffic clicker senpai who's, like, teaching you the ways of traffic clicking. And... <laughs> this game sounds crazy. <laughs> yeah. Just absolutely mental. Um, but that was absolutely fantastic. Really enjoyed that. that. Great. Um, I'm gonna replay that in like a couple of years, I reckon. New game plus, or like there's like a mode you can play like after your you completed it, sort of thing. Nice. I'm gonna put it down to rest and be like, oh, where's Yakuza? I've got that <laughs> scratch. That's the itch. That scratch that itch. Um, another game. Uh, finished Cuphead on the the Wednesday stream straight after the podcast. Nice. Um, I talked about that a lot last week. Uh, it's still gorgeous, still beautiful. The ending's great. Um, there's a fun choice you make at the end, and if you choose the wrong one, it's got a funny um, do it if you get there in that game. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, but the game that I want to talk about today uh, mostly is a game that I played in one sitting on stream on the Thursday night. On the Thursday night, and that was Little Nightmares. Ah yes, ah, I saw you were playing that. Little nightmares, brilliant! Oh my god! So like, if you've ever played Limbo or Inside, which Inside is one of my favorite games of all time, like this scratches that inside itch. Scratching mm-hmm. that itch, clearly the phrase of the day. Mm-hmm. Um, little nightmares, like you play as this little girl, 
who's actually called uh, Six, I believe. Um, but you, you ne- like, there's no words in the game. It doesn't tell you that her name is Six. It's, I just I was looking up. I was buying the DLC uh, afterwards, and um, it said, "Oh, her name is Six. And you're like, "Oh, good." Uh, anyway, <laughs> there's a little, little girl like a yellow raincoat with a hood over her head, um, and it's a really beautiful art style. It feels like it feels kind of like if something was sculpted professionally in the game Dreams. You know, right, yeah, 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 the dreams, like yeah. Something, it's like something out of a Dreams trailer, but like for a whole like three and a half hours. And um, so it's not a very long game. It's definitely worth checking out. It's really cheap as well. Like, um, And it's on Game Pass. Um... <laughs> hey! I've been waiting for it. <laughs> if, you, if, if you are not watching, Dav Weeks has just put up a picture saying Game Pass. So is Cuphead, by the way. <laughs> and uh, Yakuza 3, 4, and 5 are all coming out onto uh, Game Pass as well this month. Dav, uh, have, you got a few, have you got a few different things on your on your notepad? Does it just say Game Pass? Every page well, is Game I, Pass. I, I was doing this hastily as I came in. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get Breath of the Wild out. Oh, no. Afraid. I did say it. But... You did. And I was like, <laughs> shit, missed that. <laughs> for, the, for the listeners, uh, Dav just shamed me. <laughs> um, by putting up a science in Game Pass when I said the word Game Pass. Um, <laughs> but I shan't be shamed. Little Nightmares is on Game Pass. Bitch. <laughs> um, What's Game Pass? And uh, <laughs> oh, let me tell you. It's a short presentation from my friend Phil Spencer. Um, <laughs> we also got Phil Spencer. <laughs> I am playing video games ahoy bingo and I'm <laughs> it's, it's just me bingo at the moment yeah. um, broke a record much but um this game is really dark and uh in the most delightful way it's like a really like jolly darkness mm. and there's a one there's one scene um where you're running away from loads of huge fat people trying to eat you and just the the wave of fat people trying to eat you is just so poetically animated that it's just stunningly beautiful and the whole thing is so grotesquely beautiful and i think that's the way, the thing i really need to put across is just how good this game looks and how mm. horrible it is um <laughs> and yeah it's it, in the great way that inside has a lot of puzzles but you never feel stumped for too long mm. you're like right how is this puzzle going to work oh i think it's probably this oh it is this great let's move on and uh, it feels rewarding but it's never like it's it doesn't sacrifice the narrative for the puzzle, yeah, or yeah, like yeah. the the feeling and the, the sense of the drive to continue is never sort of um uh subsided, never yeah. subsides, mm-hmm. and so yeah, and it just ends in a really really interesting, dark and unique way. Like it's a really good twist in this game. I'm obviously not going to tell you what it is, but <laughs> it's it was so all a dream. <laughs> She starts off by waking up for a dream. <laughs> so it definitely can't be a dream. This is an inception. Um, but yeah, honestly, check out this game. The twist is brilliant. Mm. And I can't wait for Little Nightmares 2. And I'm going to play the expand- the all the expansions and DLC before that game comes out. Because I'm so overwhelmed by this game so far. Awesome. Wicked. Mm. Any- anything else to talk about there? Uh, Little Nightmares. Uh, it's on Game Pass. <laughs> 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 I love Very it. Good. Awesome. Uh, Zach, what have you been um, playing? I've been playing two games this week. I feel like I talked about one of them before already, but I'll come back to it. The first game I have never played before until this week is, is Celeste, which I feel like I, I missed the hype Celeste. train on because I think it's pretty old now, like what, like 2017 or something like yeah. that maybe? Zach. Yeah. It's on Game Pass. Yeah, I thought it might be. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bought it for my PlayStation because... Uh, <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> Um, I took the day off yesterday. I had like a crazy week last week, and my mm. girlfriend was like, "You got to take a day off." And I was like, "You know what? You're absolutely right." Yep. So I sat down, and I, I loaded up Celeste, and um, how do I feel about it? I like it a lot. I don't. It. Uh, I like it a lot. I feel like it feels like a lot of other games of its genre of mm. the of the the pixel art you know, indie games, uh, indie platformers, mm. particularly indie puzzle platformers. Mm. I really like the movement on it and I really like the puzzle and I really like the fact that it is uh, like a self-imposed adventure. It's not like, 
uh, someone got kidnapped. It's like, I want to get up that mountain. Mm. Yeah. That's a really cute thing. It makes it really non-stressful for the most part. It, feel, it feels like the stakes are um, just very personal. Like if it, mm. and, and, and on top of that, the characters, the, the, what, what little we get of the characters is really endearing. You know, it really mm. does kind of... And it does just, just enough. It doesn't feel like it over... Over, so far anyway it doesn't feel like it's gone too far and faffed around with plot it feels like it gives you exactly what you need out of it in order to motivate doing the next section yeah and the characters are nice and modern and and fun and kind of interesting and they don't feel like you know they, they feel fresh they don't feel like rehashes of old ideas they're quite hip aren't they they're quite hip they're quite hip um and and it's like there's little nice little animation moments that are quite cute and funny and stuff I the, I think my biggest problem personally with it is I never I've not felt yet in my three hours of play or whatever the uh, the sort of flow state that I'd like right yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. a puzzle platformer and every new screen is a new puzzle um I haven't really felt like I'm just like gliding through any sections now I don't want that yeah. for most part you know my biggest problem with Mario series of late is that it doesn't feel quite difficult enough mm. um, so I like that it it's a little it slows you down um, but I would quite like a little bit of a payoff at some point just to be able to be like ah oh, yeah okay now I'm getting it sure. that'd be nice maybe that'll just come on a second playthrough I'm guessing that's the kind of thing because mm-hmm. it's not a very long game it's the sort of thing I could see going back to um i also think the difficulty works really well because the main plot is like not too hard like i think most people could find their way through it mm. but the um the uh, the what do you call them optional objective of getting of collecting strawberries mm. is a lot harder um so it kind of caters to both ends it caters to people who just want to have a nice platformer experience and those who really want to you know push themselves a bit it gets really hard I well, I'm as I say, I'm only probably just coming up to about halfway. I'm guessing. I don't know how long the game is, um, and it is much harder than when it started. And I'm glad that that's good. That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't, but I don't think like someone just looking for a gentle breeze could complete that game. You don't think? No, not based on what comes up. It gets really tricky in a good okay. way. Okay, like, well, hmm. so maybe I'm not as far as I thought. Um, obviously, I completed it. Cause I'm a pro gamer, but um... obviously, <laughs> elite. <laughs> yeah. Elite, elite uh, <laughs> esports, but um, I the, I just want to say the great thing about Celeste, and I think why people loved it at the time is um, the form is the function. You know, it, the 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 difficulty of the game is her struggle to get up that mountain. Yeah, and I think it tells a really nice story through that. Mm. Well, I I have one concern about the plot. I haven't finished this, and I have mm-hmm. never seen anything about. It. I've never read any reviews or anything. I'm concerned that maybe she's dead and has been dead the whole time. No one say anything, but if she's been dead the whole time, I'm completely I just want so I just want to claim now that I called it. If not, <laughs> great. If not good, I'm glad cuz that's I don't really care about that. That doesn't seem like the most interesting way the plot could go. That's we'll like, see. I'll, I'll like, have finished it by next week I'd have thought. So we'll be like able to waking up and it's all a dream, isn't it? <laughs> well, <there> is, <laughs> like, what were the point there? What's the stakes? There's no stakes. That's if interesting. They do the actually, whole time, it doesn't matter. If but it, they if did actually do that. Dream. They have. There's one level where it's a dream. But one level's fine, you know. <laughs> and also, like I actually kind of like. I actually kind of like. Weirdly, I quite like the way that it was all a dream because it's kind of like. Just play it. I'm not gonna. Yeah. T- I'm not gonna. I'm, I feel like I'm just gonna ruin it for anyone who actually wants to play it. So I just. As long as she learns level. from it, you know, she yeah. learns from that dream. Yeah. And therefore, character mm-hmm. progression. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Okay. I haven't finished it. <laughs> I we'll, see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I played. I think I played like the first hour because me and Dav, uh, Gabe bought it. Um, we had. We bought it. It came in a pack of games. Um, that we we I think we paid like five dollars or ten dollars to um. Uh, oh, a company yeah. that was um, um it was a uh, for black, black, lives black lives matter yeah so um yeah and it gave you like a thousand free games and celeste was More one of them that, yeah. wow. it was loads and um it was it was i mean that was the only game that i i i didn't it's not that i wasn't bothered about the rest of them but i saw that i was like well that's worth it on its own for the yeah, cause absolutely. so i bought it and i was like yeah it's great uh, but i've only played like an hour it's on my pc and i really don't game on my pc anymore if it was on my Switch, I might, I might have played more. But yeah, um, but yeah, it also like that, a good Switch game. Yeah, I, I, I am. Um, it's, it's interesting because I thought, I, I, I thought that might be like completely right up your alley. But we'll see. It, it might, it might do. We'll it see. Might, I, I, by next yeah, week, yeah, it might I'm do. enjoying it right now. We'll see how it goes. Cool, cool, cool. Um, what was I'm the j- other thing. 
Oh, oh yeah. right. I, I was playing. Um, I feel like I'm sure I must have talked about this because I, I just picked it back up again. I'm playing The Last of Us online. Oh, I saw you playing that. Uh-oh. Which um, I like actually. I uh, I fell out. Um, I fell out with it a little bit because it's everyone. Everyone. It's it's the typical problem of online games. Everyone's very good. Yeah. And I'm not very good, so it's kind of hard to get into. Mm. But I took some time off yesterday to 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 get into it and. Um, yeah, it super holds up even after all this time. What's it been? Seven years, eight years? Yeah, 2011, um, 2013, something around, like, around that. Dav, where's your Last uh, of Us card? Hey! Uh, was it, was it already it. there? Or Wait, did you cover, do it in cover the, the two. Cover the two. Well, that's the thing. Like, it was there, but then you didn't. You said Last of Us Online, not Last of Us Two. Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> what's Dav's weak? What that? What? What? What's Dav's weak thing? What, what? What can his thing be? We've all I, got I think I'm going to put together like a drinking game. <laughs> I love that. Of video I games, Ahoy. I love that. And then on the anniversary, we'll watch episode one all oh, together God. and we'll Don't. play. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to show anyone what else I've got written Johnny, down here. Johnny mispronounces Patreon. Patreon will be on there that's as well. That's a good one. That, that's, that's, a good one. That's, that's not been a while. Yeah. Um, Dad Weeks' thing is um, very naturally popping in obscure Japanese pop culture references. Like you're naming people in like samurai film industry, and I'm just like, what? I don't know these names. I, I still, again, <laughs> I, I've mentioned like mentioned previous podcasts before, but one of my other favorite moments is when you you asked Dav Weeks whether he was pronouncing Japanese correctly, and he was like, I don't know, and it was just <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I don't can't speak Japanese, I, but I love I love that. But yeah, we should do we should do that. We should like um like li- randomly pick an episode um from like w- months before and just listen to it and see how it, and have the cards. It'd be quite funny. Um, I I I just D- Zach, did you want to say anything else um about the Last of Us? It's fun. Go get it if yeah. you've got PlayStation Online and you've got a copy of the Last yeah. of Us. Have a go. It's yeah, it's, it's good. good crack. Um, so I I'm playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I'll just uh, I I I kind of want to move on, but I've been playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I don't want to because I've got like four games I want to talk about. So sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna just fly to them. Um, I'm I am actually really enjoying it. Last week I wasn't, mm. but I think and I said this the other day on stream actually. I think I'd be enjoying it less if I'd played Odyssey and Origins. I I think with Assassin's Creed games, like I think this game took they took like three years to make, which seems like a long time. But it just feels like if they take taken like an extra six months or an extra year, then the game could have been even better. Mm. It just, I, we, we, I think Zach, you said it uh, during the predictions podcast, actually, that Ubisoft just, they're so focused on getting games out that, and then fixing them later that sometimes they just think, maybe we should just take a year to actually make the game better. Not just actually fixing it, but actually make the game better. Like improve the game. As it is, I, I'm really enjoying it. The, the story's fun. I think the one thing I'm actually really disappointed about is it's all focused on on the Vikings and 99% of it has been spent in England and I kind of feel like that's a slight missed opportunity when they could be exploring Scandinavian and Nordic like countries in general you know about like sailing around Denmark and Sweden and Norway and Iceland and all those countries it would be that would be really cool but saying that England is really well it looks gorgeous the game looks gorgeous but yeah, I'm going to talk about that more when I actually finish it, which will probably yeah. be another like two weeks. Do you think that, Johnny, it's just because we live in the UK and therefore it's not <laughs> for us? I mean, I'm sure for other people around the world, it could be really interesting. I, I, th- I think it was more that like um, they could have saved that for uh, for an Assassin's Creed game set in like King Arthur time. And like that, that could, they could still have used that setting for another Assassin's Creed game set across like England and, or maybe even include Wales and Scotland as well. Um the saying that I haven't got a problem with the fact that it looks it looks gorgeous. I'm I am really enjoying it. Um but I'll have more to speak about it like when I complete it, which will probably be another like two weeks maybe. Um just very quickly wanna say I got a little bit further in Hades yes uh yesterday on my stream, which is a lot of fun. Um God damn the stakes in that game. Like because you start off with no lives. If you die you, you just start again. Then you like you suddenly gain one life, but you still you die twice, so you have to start all the way again. It is so, oh, it's oh my god, it, it's stressful. It's so stressful because like yesterday, I I got to the furthest I'd ever got to, and I was fighting this boss who was just so hard. And the first time I tried to beat him, I just died because I didn't have enough lives. The second time, I lost that life, 
and I survived and I beat him with like maybe I think it was like five percent of my next life and got to the next bit. I know full well that I'm not going to get much further beyond that because I need to keep building up my character. But Hades is awesome, guys. Seriously, I I, I know all that like, you guys would all love it. I just feel like it's a game the all three of you would love. Um, but yeah, I'm 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 going to try and complete that on stream, so I'm not going to keep talking about that too much. The game that I really want to talk about very like could be like for the next five ten minutes but the game i really want to talk about is apex legends um this started off uh as a stream that me and zach me and zach so basically i'm just gonna me and zach we're gonna play it on friday as a way to like sort of build it up so that we could start playing with dav but dav was like <laughs> why don't you play with me and we're like okay and then we were shit <laughs> Dav wasn't. Dav was Dav Gape I'm referring to. Dav was was great. And he saved mine and Zach's asses many times. But I I think when I looked at it, I'd put in like I played an hour before that stream. And that most of that was the training session that was just farting around like shooting guns and stuff. So uh that was a learning experience. Um we'll come back to that very quickly because Dav Weeks, about three days ago, was just randomly playing the PlayStation, sent me and it's uh an invite to play Apex. And we came second. We came second. We all, we were so close to getting first. Um, yeah, with about two, three hours experience. Yeah, which I, I was very proud of us. We did we did a pretty good job. We still didn't come first. And I imagine there's people going, you're still noobs. You should have come first, which is fair enough. We'll get um, that win. We'll get that win. We, we'll, get, we'll get the win. But then Dav Weeks went one step further. Dav Weeks, you got to win. I got to fucking win. Yeah. <laughs> like, was it like, uh, like, like 10 minutes after you left me? So it was clearly my, me holding you back. Uh, rather than the other way around <laughs> yeah um yeah no um and believe it or not i've played it quite a few times since then i've now believe it or not i've won it three times mate dab dab weeks i know superstar now, ad- admittedly the other two times uh i had nothing to do with it i was mm. just with people who were kicking ass in fact the third time i was dead uh, but the squad still won um what i would say about the game right i instantly prefer it to fortnite yeah, because mm-hmm. noobs can win it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Um. Like I've played plenty of bits of Fortnite, and like it's just like, nah, nah. <laughs> it's it just seems completely in- inachievable. Um. Like even Fall Guys kind of teases you with the idea that you might possibly be able to win it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um. And then here I am on Apex, and suddenly, oh no, you, you can get to like the top three squads. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. It is possible, and it feels as if it balances that threshold of get good at the game, you'll get further, mm. and also just you can get further if you just do certain things and there's a bit of luck in it. Sure. And I think it makes a nice balance of that, which instantly makes it a better battle royale than Fortnite, in my opinion. Yeah, I um, I, I don't really have much experience with Fortnite. I know Zach does, and I, know, I, I imagine Dad does as well, but um. I, I definitely got into it more. But I, at the same time, my, my thing that I took away from it was I was just enjoying having a laugh with you guys. It was good fun. It was good fun. But I I just, one of my favorite things was like how stressed Dav Gape was getting when me and Zach were just farting around in the car and stuff. <laughs> like Dav was like, don't drive the car. And me and Zach were like, I'm going to drive the car now. And we just drive around like idiots and people be shooting us. And Dav would like have to save us. And then obviously they'd all be jumping at him. But yeah, it was good fun. <laughs> Like um, petulant children, <laughs> and then and we dad's were... trying to lay down the discipline. And then, and then, what was great was is that like uh, uh, Zach laid down a challenge to Dav. He was like, "Oh yeah, we'll get, we'll take you. Me and John will take you on two versus one." <laughs> and Dav kicked our asses. <laughs> yeah, he did. And then, and then we decided we would uh, be very petty and break the rules. And uh, and then Dav continued to kick our asses, <laughs> pin him down while he wasn't really supposed to be. And then he turned it around and destroyed us. Uh, yeah. And it was a sobering experience in my young life. But, um, <laughs> so great. Uh, but, all right. Well done, Dav. <laughs> right, yeah. gents. Well and truly should... putting us in our place. <laughs> um, should, we, should we do the quiz, gents? Should, oh, we, should we do the quiz? Yeah. Quiz time! All right, let's do the quiz. All right. Um, some of these questions are going to be... Uh, well, yeah. Some of them are quite tricky. I do apologize. But I'm, I I just... I, I want to challenge you guys. I feel like... Uh, yeah, I want to challenge you. Um, I'm not sorry. Oh, I'm not sorry at all. You challenge me every day, Johnny. You challenge me every day. <laughs> all right, then. Um, question number one. Uh, okay. If you get this near enough to what it is, I will ex- I will accept it. Okay, I will accept okay. if you get near enough to the answer. What is the first line in Skyrim? <laughs> the very first line in Skyrim. I don't have any options here because I've I've just got the answer. So you you've just got to guess something. Okay. 
Yeah, I've got a guess. How how much of it do you want? Um, we can't I write not, that much. I don't. We're I don't know the no, 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 no. Like, I know where the scenario is. I'm yeah, just yeah, yeah. To think. yeah, yeah, yeah. I want. Um, so it doesn't need to be. It's not. It's not like a paragraph. I mean, like. Okay, it's, sure, it's, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, it's not uh, long. Not long. As long as the question, if that helps. Sure. What sure. is the first line in Skyrim? It's about that length. Okay, if that helps. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. Um, you guys have an answer? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Press enter, then Dav Gape. So you're finally awake. Zach Hamilton. You're finally awake. And Dav Weeks. I took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> it's, <laughs> hey you, you're finally awake. So I will give that to Dav Gape and I'll give that to Zach. Yay! I'll, g- I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Yeah. Only going. because I feel like I only know that because of the fucking meme. It's a meme, yeah. It's it's a huge <laughs> meme. It's a massive meme. Then, yeah. Uh, all right. Question number two: Which famous actor had a starring role as the main character's father in Fallout Three? Ah oh, shit! Say it again. Which famous actor had a starring role as the one of the main characters as the main character's father in Fallout Three? Is it I can picture. I can picture the. Uh, the character but i can't think of who plays him i can't picture the character but i think i know the answer damn <laughs> i don't know. again this I'm is only one pick- this is I, i've only got the answer so i'm I, I i haven't got multiples this is just one answer because i figured that if i if i said it you, if I think you said you'd it all know. Feel like, yeah, i think I you i it. think you'd all know so i'm trying to be a bit like yeah sure okay you got an answer mm-hmm. yeah okay Three, two, one. Zach, go first. John Hamm. Dav Weeks. Rob Lowe. And Dav Gape. Liam Neeson. It's Liam Neeson. Is it really? No, it is Liam Neeson. Yeah, Liam that. Neeson. Yeah, it's Liam Neeson. Place your dad. Place your dad. Uh, I was pretty sure it wasn't John Hamm, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty I sure it wasn't you Rob Lowe. John Hamm. I, don't, you <laughs> Rob Lowe. The, don't you remember the bit where he goes, I will find you and I will fall out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will... I will fall out three, you. Um, Okay. Uh, Question number three. Hitman 3 comes out today. Hmm. How many games in total have there been on consoles? How many Hitman games have there been? Just going to double check one thing to see if it includes this game. But, yeah. Does it include Hitman Go? Uh, No. So, games on consoles are not including Hitman Go. I could be angry if this is wrong. I've only yeah. ever played one of them. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get the list up so that okay. And I didn't so, really understand it. Okay. I've got a guess. Is it closest guess the point, or you have to get it right? No, no, no. You got to get it right. Got to get it right. Okay. Okay. Do you have an answer? Yeah. All three of you. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Dav Weeks. Eight. Dav Gabe. Seven. And Zach Hamilton. Four. Including. Hitman 3, it is 8. Well done, Dan yes. Weeks. Jesus. Including. So it's 1, 2, Contracts, Blood Money, yep. Absolution, yep. and then 1, 2, 3. Yes, he's exactly right. Well done, Dan Weeks. Are you oh. going to buy Hitman 3? Eventually, when it, it comes down in price. It's, come, it's getting really good reviews. Yeah, really yeah. good reviews. Contracts um, is the one I forgot. Yeah. All right. Um, question number 4. In Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, there's a track that has you racing against traffic and in reverse, oncoming traffic that has had a glow up from the N64. But what is the track called? Fuck. I can picture both those levels. Oh. Um, Got it. Yeah, I think I've got it. All right. You all got an answer? Right. Okay. Three, two, one, press enter. Dab Gabe? Toad Turnpike. Zach? Mushroom Highway. And Dav Weeks? Toad Turnpike. Yeah, Toad's Turnpike. Yeah, that's exactly right. Well done. Damn it. <laughs> well done. Oof. Okay. Good guess on Mushroom Highway. Yeah, it's, it's a good, kind it's of a good guess. Well, I mean, I went with, pretty likely. I had, it, yeah. I had it in my head as Mushroom Motorway, and then I was like, nah, they're not going to use an English word, are no, they? They're just going to fuck no. up the, the alliteration. But there is a highway in, I think, the, the Wii. I think there, there is a the, highway. The, I'm I pretty sure there is one where you are racing through like a little town and a highway and the weed. It's not. Yeah, yeah. I think. All right. Um. Here you go. Question number five. The uh. And I'll, I'll explain this to you in a little bit as well. So the predecessor to Rocket League originally debuted on the PS3, oh, but under God a very it. different name. What was it? 
two points for the That's full title. Sick. And if you if you can get, I'll give you a point if you get most of it. Okay. You, so you told get, me this. Like, I have. That long I've ago. said this name many times whilst yeah. you're streaming. Oh god damn it! It's um. If you can get most of it, I'll give you a point. If you can get the full title, you get two points. Uh, fuck what is it oh man do you need the question again or are you just uh just no. stuck it's like on the tip of my tongue it's driving me nuts oh, I, heard no, you say it so many times. I know you, you wait, <laughs> and I, I imagine when i do say it you are gonna be raging yeah do, you, right. do you guys have an answer yeah. yeah all right here we go uh let's start with zach hamilton what you got cars three <laughs> uh dab weeks Bernie Car Bang Ball. And Dab Gape. Wow. Uh, rocket fueled football cars. I can't. So I can't I know give mine's you that. That's the closest. I can't, I yours is, is the closest, but I don't think it's close enough for a point. So the answer is super so- supersonic acrobatic rocket powered battle cars. Uh, I was never gonna get that. <laughs> <laughs> supersonic acrobatic rocket power battle cars. Uh, there was a, okay. I think there was like the title of the song uh, of, of the game had a song. I think it was like super. Is that? It was. It was I mean, it's exactly the same. The one thing I will say, there was some really interesting and cool levels on the on the uh, on that game. Like one of them was there was just one goal, and whoever shot into the goal would get mm. the goal, which is really cool. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I think I might be misremembering. Um, either way, it's good. It was good. Uh, okay, question number six. Broforce is a two D action platformer that allows oh, you to play as some of the most uh, a famous badasses in film history. But which of these characters is not in the game? Okay, bear in mind there was a load of DLC added, so you okay, so I'm just gonna just gonna run through them. So which one of these is not in the game? So you got Angus MacGyver from MacGyver, Ash Williams from The Evil Dead, Axel Foley from Beverly Hills Cop, and Snake Pliskin from Escape from LA. Say those again. Angus MacGyver, Ash Williams, Axel Foley, Snake Pliskin. Has anyone seen um the Evil Dead series? Yeah. No, I haven't. This is my boomstick, <laughs> dude. I love Broforce. Like it's Broforce it's very is great. Silly. We should definitely try it because that's multiplayer as well, isn't it? It's not very expensive. Is that the one that's only... basically Metal Slug, isn't it? Kind of. It's got a little bit of a different feel to it. It's really like, funny. More as well. platformy than than Metal Slug. Mm. Right, I've got um, okay. And so probably faster paced. Actually. Yeah, it's 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 pretty ma- it's, it's really pretty mad. It's a great game. I it's love. Three, I think it's about three quid on on the whatever the stores. And it's so funny as well. It's really funny. All right, uh, all right. Let's start. Uh, so Dav Weeks, what's your answer? If you can press enter by the way. Uh, I'm going to say Axel Foley. Uh, Dav Gape. Ash from Evil Dead. Uh, Zach Hamilton. I'm going to say Axel Foley. Do 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 It's Axel Foley. Well done. Nice. I remember right. playing. I remember playing as Ash from the Evil Dead. Actually, yeah, yeah. It's the only yeah. one that I that I was pretty sure of. Yeah. Um. Well done. Um. I did originally put um. Who did I originally put? Uh. Max from Mad Max, but apparently he was added in his DLC. So <laughs> if I'd have said that, I would have been wrong. Uh. I had to check later on. All right. Here we go. Uh. Question number seven. The U.S. Air Force created the Condor Cluster. Uh, a supercomputer built using off-the-shelf commercial components, including over 1,700 of a specific video game console. But which gaming console did they use? I'll read that again. The U.S. Air Force created the Condor Cluster, a supercomputer built using off-the-shelf commercial components, including over 1,700 of a specific video game console. But which console did they use i have options but i mean you're just guessing consoles here yeah i have no idea when this was done so it could be any console mm. all right i've got an answer i like i said if two of you want the four i can give you the four nah nope sorry zach nope. i'm gonna be guessing <laughs> do you guys know about this this computer no uh <laughs> The, no. Just balls to the wall, so, cocky about wall. it. So one thing I will say, I, I actually had heard of this before. That's the reason why I put the question in because I actually had heard of it before I added yeah. the question. I think and, there's a meme about like consoles being like strapped together, right? <laughs> I'm, I can't say anything. I don't want to say anything. I'm, sure. not, no, I'm not giving any I'm, memes. I'm actually torn between two consoles now, but I've made, I've made a decision. Okay, you made a decision. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Dav Weeks, Atari. Dav Gape, 
Xbox. And, uh, Zach Hamilton? Commodore 64. Okay. The answer is the PS3. Ah. Oh, so it was much more recent than we yeah, thought. Two thousand. Okay. So originally this question had uh, 2010 in it, but I thought that would like really, really not help. Uh, well, it would help. So I wanted to really give it a bit more scope. Yeah, 2000, 2010, uh, 1,700 um, PS3s were put together for the with the US uh, Air Force, which is crazy. All right, question number eight. Uh, all right, so the Donkey Kong was originally going to be th- uh, a themed game based on a beloved TV and film character. Name that character. Again, I have four options. A beloved Oh, name TV the character or name the yes. game? Name, name the- so name the character that it was supposed to be. Fuck. Uh, so there was a character that was supposed to be... Uh, so Donkey Kong was originally made to include um, a character, a very oh famous God. TV and film character. Uh, and in the end, it all fell apart, but they kept the game and they added Mario instead. I know what the character is. I just can't remember what he's fucking called. I've got the four options if you want. Do you guys want four options? I could take some options. Do you want options, Yeah, yeah go on. Option right. me. Four options. Bugs Bunny. Fred Flintstone. Mickey Mouse. Popeye. Bugs Bunny. Fred Flintstone. Mickey Mouse. Uh, Popeye. Mm, okay. <laughs> I, I, I have some, some things to say about this. Okay. By Donkey Kong, I mean like um, the one where like Mario's jumping over barrels, like that original, the very first. Is it, or is that like that's not Mario Bros. Is it? That's like the original. No, that is that is Donkey, yeah, Donkey that Kong. Is, yeah, that that game, that game. All right, I've got an answer. Okay, you guys can answer. Yeah. Okay, three, two, one. Dab Gabe, what you got? Popeye. Zach. Popeye. And Dab Weeks. Yeah, Popeye seems it, like the most sensible one. It is Popeye, and but it's hey. not Pop. It's not Popeye. It's the villain from Popeye. Well, no, the game. I meant. Yeah, yeah. So the, I'm talking about the. I the wouldn't have let game. them had the answers. <laughs> I'll be honest. I when you first said the question, I thought we were talking about King Kong as a replacement for Donkey Kong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, when, yeah. When <laughs> I was talking, we're the, talking about the game, yeah, the Mario. Game, the, yeah, wait, wait. Got, I got and to look was, up what the, what the villain from Popeye is oh, called. It's now. not Pluto. Pluto. It is Pluto, yeah. Pl- I, I think Pluto. Pluto. Pluto, not not Pluto, yeah. Pl- no. Not Pluto, that's the dog. Um, okay, <laughs> name that badly described game. Question hey, number nine. my favourite one. Crazy cast of mascots create constant chaos on his handheld console. The fuck? <laughs> I enjoyed writing this one. <laughs> Amazing. Crazy cast of mascots create constant chaos on this handheld, handheld console. Ooh. Crazy cast of mascots create constant chaos on this handheld console. My God, that's hard to say. You gotta be careful how you say that. I know, especially <laughs> the co- it's the constant bit that's throwing Stunning. me off. <laughs> cunning right. stunt. Is, cunning stunt. Is the cunning constant stunt. chaos a a clue in there, or is that you just uh, 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 playing uh, 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 with alliteration? Crazy cast of mascots create constant chaos on this handheld console. It's it. it uh, yeah, I don't want to say too much, but there Crazy is there is definitely a clue. Cast. I mean, there's a very specific clue in there. Crazy cast of what mascots? Crazy cast of mascots create constant chaos on this handheld console. I always think I've got this this question right, and then <laughs> and then I'm always wrong. <laughs> to be fair, yeah, I, 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 there could be a game um, that is also this, um, but it's there's a very specific game that I'm um, yeah. Constant chaos. Do you guys have an answer? Okay. Yeah. No, I don't. No, don't. I don't. Um. If there's an option of four for this, I'd take it. There is not an option of four. Oh. This is basically just... Also, Rose has given me the one for next week, and I really, really enjoyed it. Okay. <laughs> it's so silly, and I love it. Crazy cast. Say it again. <laughs> this could be one of two games, and I'm concerned that I've picked the wrong one. Crazy cast of mascots create constant chaos on this handheld console. What counts as a handheld console? Uh, okay, so I, I will get. I'll give you one. Uh, um, so, I will give you one hint. Okay, I'll give you one hint. I do not. The Nintendo Switch is not a hand. Is is a home console. The Nintendo right. Switch. That's what I was nervous is about. Is a home console. Okay. All right. I think I'm wrong then, but I'll stick with it. Okay. Uh, that's what I'm considering for this for this one. Nintendo Switch is a home console. Okay, last time. Crazy cast of mascots creates constant chaos in its handheld console. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Three, two, one, press enter. Dav, Gabe, what did you go with? 
Diddy Kong Racing 3D. Zach, what did you go with? Smash Bros. 3D. Dav Weeks. I just deleted Diddy Kong to see Pokemon. <laughs> But we've had Pokemon, haven't we? It's Smash Bros. for the 3DS, very specifically. But the because 3DS. I put 3DS, and then yeah. I was like, no, 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 because the the Switch is is handheld as well. Yeah, that I that's why that's why I was trying to be very specific. Because yeah, if if I'm giving you help, then it needs to be more specific. I was gonna so, yeah. say Smash Bros., but I was like constant chaos. I yeah, think. that was just that extra alliteration I just threw in there for. Like, I knew it for shits and giggles. <laughs> Throw bloody threw that under the bus for me, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, what popular video game character inspired the name of a human gene? Say Not gene as in the person. Human. Say, again for, <laughs> say again for me. Human, it's gene. Uh, what popular video game character inspired the name of human gene? A human, like, gene, like DNA and stuff. Oh, fuck, it's one of three. It, it's, there, there is a human gene named after a video game character. Have we got any multiple choices on this? There is multiple choice. I refuse. I refuse. Oh! oh. I, I have no idea, but I refuse. There are three, and I've heard of three different video game characters who've been who have been given. Uh, uh, there's been some scientific things named after them, and I can't remember which of the three is the gene. <laughs> <laughs> have any of you seen um, Arrested Development? No, not really. Uh, I've seen all... it. I've not watched all of it, but I watched the first season or okay. two. I, I'm just thinking of Gene Parmesan, but that's all. It's, just... <laughs> it's Henry Winkler, who I love, by the way. I just finished watching Barry, and that's such a great oh, show. Barry is show. phenomenal. It's so good. All right, do you guys have answers? Do you want me to read no, the question again? I, I forgot. I, I was talking about, thinking about Barry. <laughs> We're talking about Barry. Yeah, read it one more time. Okay, okay, what... Don't put Barry down. <laughs> what popular video game character inspired the name of a human gene? Okay, I am going to say this one. Okay. Uh, oh, I didn't type it in. <laughs> do you guys want to? Here we go. Three, two, ah. one. Ah. Press enter. Dab Gabe, what'd you go with? Solid Snake. Dab Weeks. Sonic. And Zach. Sonic the Hedgehog. It's Sonic the yeah. Hedgehog. Uh, so I've got a little thing here. So Sonic inspired the name of the SHH gene, which makes sure our limbs grow when they are supposed to. Kind of cool. No sense. I, th- I think it's because of the speed in which it grows, or like or the speed in which it works, something like something like that. But uh, I was yeah. going to say Sonic, but I thought, well, Sonic's like a word already. But yeah, SHH yeah. is clearly Sonic Hedgehog, isn't it? Yeah. Um, this is the tie break, and we actually needed it because currently the scores stand. Dav Gape. Dav Gape, you soared into a 4 1 lead. I know, and now I know. it's four it's points to Dav Gape, five points to Dav Weeks, and five points to Zach. Oh damn, I thought so, I was out of this game. So already. this tie break is is well, it's gonna it's gonna seal who's gonna win this. Um alright. Kamal Gray from The Roots set a world record and Jimmy Fallon after blowing into numerous video game cartridges in 20 seconds. How many cartridges did he manage to blow into in that time? In 20 20 seconds. seconds. In 20 seconds, how many cartridges did he blow into? I'll read that again. Kamal Gray from The Roots set a world record and Jimmy Fallon after blowing into numerous video game cartridges in 20 seconds. But how many cartridges did did he manage to blow into in that time so this is going to be the person closest to this number uh we'll get Man, the, I have we'll no get the idea. two points i think this might be really close because i imagine there could be some some workings out of this one ready when you are <laughs> dab, dab, dab <laughs> gape is doing something unseemly to the cat to the camera at the moment <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna guess. Yeah, throw out a guess. That that many. Okay, here we go. How many? Three... How many are you guessing, Dad? <laughs> we'll find out. Three, two, one. Press enter. Dab, go first. Forty-one. Then Zach. Fifty-six. And uh, Dab weeks. Fifty-five. Oh. The answer is forty-three, which means Dab gave us two points. That Damn. also means that's that Dav, not that many. 
Dav Gape has also won twice um, for this calendar year already. <gasps> Did I win last week? You won last week. Oh my god. They're on a winning streak now, Dav. They're going to come after you. I'm going to have to start sending Absolutely all of the livid. answers to Zach and Dav Weeks now. <laughs> 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 um, all right. That is the end of podcast number 39. Uh, thank you very much for listening today. Uh, if you enjoyed the show, then please follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Tell your friends. Give us a review or a comment. Um, because, yeah, that would mean a lot to us. Um, yeah. I think, yeah. Do you know? I actually checked um, uh, those out the other day. I think I checked checked out Apple, and we've got five. We've got a five star review with a couple of people voting for five. So that that's really nice. Lovely. So that's really one that has Keep given us uh, some some review scores. That's really mm-hmm. really lovely. Um, those five star reviews really help us. They do. They really do. <laughs> no, they ultimately, do. <laughs> ultimately, I don't know how, but <laughs> <laughs> we're supported by uh, loads of lovely people over on Patreon. So to everyone that contributes, thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Uh, and if you would like to support us, then please go ahead and check out our Patreon page, Video Games Ahoy. Uh, and if you don't want to contribute or you can't, then that's absolutely fine. Uh, we are, again, just grateful for you listening to the show. Um, we're also proud to say that we're affiliated with Green Man Gaming. So if you do need any gaming products and want to look for some delicious deals, then make sure you head on over to the link in the description. Um, we're all streaming at the moment, so keep your eye out for us uh, throughout the week. Um, anyone streaming anything in the coming week beyond Saturday they're excited for? Pokemon Coliseum. Pokemon Coliseum. Start the full playthrough tonight, and we'll carry on until I finish it. Nice. Not tonight, so in the future. I really enjoyed Zach's stream of Star Fox the other day. That was pretty that cool. That was really nice, yeah. That was really stressful, that but... It stressed me out. I was in good. such a bad mood after really <laughs> Um And yeah, I'm going to keep doing my Hades run. I'm going to hopefully try and, like I said, pick up throughout the week as well, through the afternoons. Um, but I'm just a little busy at the moment. Um, that's it. That's the end. Uh, this is Video Games Ahoy. And we'll see you next week. Ahoy! 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 Ahoy!